All right, for topic 7.5, we are going to be putting fractions in simplest form. Sometimes you get fractions that look totally different, but they are equal. For example, like 2 tenths, uh, that could be also equal to or 4 twentieths. And we could also have the equal to 1 fifth. <clears throat> so this form right here, that is it. That is in simplest form. You've reduced it down to its lowest common denominator. Let's do a couple of examples of what I'm talking about. Really all it means when you put a fraction in simplest form is that the numerator and the denominator are in their lowest form where they have no other factor that's common between the two of them other than one. For example, three twelfths. That is not in simplest form because both the 3 and the 12, they share a common factor. The greatest common factor they have in common would be 3. So we're just reducing fractions to their lowest common denominator uh, where they cannot be divided by anything other than 1. So in that example of 3 twelfths, you'll look at that and you'll just kind of look at um, the factors that they may have for that. Well, 3 is 3, 1 and 3, right? And 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The greatest common factor that they have is 3. So what you can do is you can divide a 3 out of each of these. And 3 divided by 3 would get you 1. 12 divided by 3, that would get you 4. So 3 twelfths. In simplest form would be one fourth. I find it easy if you just take what you have like in the numerator, let's say we have 75 hundredths, just take what you have in the numerator there and just see what factors you have in there that would also match up for here. So 75, looking at that, I know that it's 25. So 25 goes into 75 three times. You do the same thing for the denominator. That would get you four. So 75 hundredths would get you three fourths. You gotta be careful though, because sometimes you may not think that they would have a common factor. Let's say 14 out of 21. Numerator is um, even, denominator is odd. But you should see that you can get seven out of both of those. So same thing. Divide both the numerator and the denominator by that factor. That would get you two thirds in this case. Now sometimes, like let's just say we have like 32 80ths. Both the numerator and the denominator are even, so you know you're going to get at least two out. So you could go ahead and factor two out. Divide each side by two. 32 divided by two, that will get you 16. And 80 divided by two will get you 40. But you'll notice this is not in simplest form because you can still factor out 2. I'm also looking at this, and I'm pretty good with my um, multiples. I'm thinking 4. I can divide each side of here by 4. And let's see what happens with that. So 16 divided by 4 is 4. And 40 divided by 4 is 10. Ooh, we can still go, though, can't we? Let's move down here. 4 tenths divide equals... We'll divide each of these by 2. So 4 tenths, simplest form would be 2 fifths. You have to keep going until the only thing that the numerator and the denominator can be divided by is 1. Let's try a story problem. Let's say there's 36 students in a class and 27 are going to go to a math competition. So what's the simplest form of the fraction of the class that's going to the competition? Well, there are how many total? 36. And out of the 36, 27 are going to the competition. So you could represent that as 27 out of 36 as the fraction. Let's write out the factors for these numbers. 27, you would have 1 times 27, 3 times 9, and I think that's it for 27. For 36, you'd have 1 times 36 
2 times 18, 3 times 12, and what, 4 times 9, 5, no, 6, 6 times 6. So here's all your factors of 36. So the question is, what's the greatest common factor that they have? Well, I share 1, 3, oh, but look, 9. 9 is the greatest common factor. So if we take both of those, divide them by 9, that will put this fraction into simplest form. 27 divided by 9, 3. 36 divided by 9, 4. So 27 36 to its simplest form is 3 ninths, 3, three fourths. All right, you have your requisite problems over here. Go ahead and solve those, and I'll see you in the morning.